Now, if there's an adapter that will take a water bottle and will connect it to your, to your rifle, that's great. Go ahead and get those. Yep, one half by 28 two bottle adapter. Now, I know that this is the prototype because this time they told me that it is a prototype. And that is going to fit a bottle. It'll take your one half by 28 threads and then it, you can put a water bottle on here and that water bottle you can then use to, um, uh, to use as a solvent trap. Instead of paying a lot of money for an oil filter, and we're talking five, six bucks for an oil filter, you can now, I mean, people throw away water bottles. And if you're not familiar with what a solvent trap adapter is, uh, if you know anybody who chews tobacco and they carry around a Diet Pepsi or a Diet Coke bottle and they spit into the bottle and then close the bottle up, yeah, that's a solvent trap. And what this does is it adapts it to your barrel. Let me go ahead and get a, uh, a bottle real quick and we'll see how this fits. Now Infinite Product Solutions knows that I have a big test coming up for this. And because this is a prototype, I know that they have told me that um, this is going to have different threading than the one in production. The, the threads are going to be a little bit, just a fraction looser so that things don't get too tight. So, but we'll test the prototype to see how it works. But let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Let's put this bottle on it. This is heavy. This is made of steel. This is interesting. I'll be able to see the solvent spray finally come out of this. This is going to be fun. Oh, man, I need to go shoot some. I could clean a gun that's already clean, but why? Let me go get a, um, let me go get a Coke bottle and see how a Coke bottle works. Did I say Coke? I meant, I meant Pepsi. <laughs> I've got a one and a half liter uh, Coke bottle in there, but I wanted to use a pony bottle. Pardon me a second here. Yeah, that's Pepsi. Let's see how this works. Oh, that fits nice. Yeah, again, I can feel it. That is, oh, that's going to be a really nice fit. Oh, that's a really nice fit. Yeah, it needs to be perhaps just a hair less tight. And uh, Infinite Product Solutions, I'm telling you this, uh, I would like to see um, the knurling. You would call it knurling. I call it aggressive checkering. There needs to be some aggressive checkering right here. Even if it were, even if it were not that tight, I would still like that aggressive checkering because it's difficult for me to grip that. So, yeah, baby. <clears throat> oh, you thought it was going to be the Ruger Charger takedown, didn't you? Oh, yeah, Rob, you're going to use the Ruger Charger takedown. No, I'm not. <laughs> I got the Kiapa Little Badger here, my little skeleton rifle. Let's go ahead and take that thread protector off. Let's just make sure that that screws on. Oh, that's screwing on really nice. Oh, I like how... Yeah, that's well done right there. Infinite Product Solutions, that's a really beautiful threading right there. That's, that's drawing in far. I like that. Yep. Easy to turn with this right here. Still would like to see some uh, I still would like to see some aggressive checkering. Very nice. All right. Let's put this solvent trap adapter to work and see how it does. Before we get started with this solvent trap bottle adapter, I want to show you something interesting here. Uh, I want to show you that uh, the Purilator filter that I have right here is a very large filter, but there's not really all that much space inside here. The useful volume over the total volume is a very small number, whereas with the uh, plastic bottle that we have here, the useful volume over the total volume is practically one to one. I'm going to call this the useful volume ratio. And uh, Infinite Product Solutions, if you're listening to me, that's what I want you to call it. The useful volume ratio. So even if I had just a pony bottle, uh, and let's say that the pony bottle came out to about right here, uh, my useful volume is like huge compared to this oil filter. So I really do like this. This struck me uh, when, I was, when I was looking at it. it. It surprised me, and it shouldn't have, but it did. 
and I'm, I'm really happy with this idea of useful volume. Now this is a first for me. I've never actually done this before. I've never actually been able to see what the spray looks like when it comes off of my barrel. Uh, we're going to see it for the very first time with this device. So let's go ahead and do it. There's an advantage to using a plastic bottle, and I want to talk about that over this. This is opaque and this is clear. If I were to put this on top and I were to push my rod through, I would see when my jake is coming out. So that's, uh, what, 80, 90, one round, something? So let's go ahead and see what that barrel looks like. That barrel's going to be nice and dirty. And I'm using a uh, bronze brush from Gunslick Pro. Make sure I get all of that uh, debris out of there. And uh, Hoppy's 9. So let's see how that spray goes. You can actually see that erupt from the barrel. I don't really notice too much in terms of solvent spray. I was expecting a lot of micro droplets. And now let's run a patch through it. This will be the first patch to come out and it's going to be icky. Ugh, it's nice to see that patch. And I run three dry patches through. And the last of the patches. Let's see how that patch looks. Oh, that patch looks nice and clean. Excellent. And so there you have it. You now have your um, patches all in here, trapped. This would be easy to dispose of, and I'm going to go ahead and throw it away just to show you that I can. Now this is the prototype, so let me show you what's going to happen here. It's a little bit difficult to take off, but uh, Infinite Product Solutions assures me that they're going to actually whoops, keep those on the uh, table there, Rob. They're going to uh, work with this and loosen these uh, threads just a little bit so that they'll hit the bottle and uh, tighten onto the bottle very nicely without being too tight. I'm Rob Rosenberger for Mostly 22 LR. And remember, 22 LR is real ammunition. Treat it as such.